It's funny how things turn out. Since I was a little girl, all I wanted to do was perform. I started taking piano and dance lessons when I was three years old. I sang in church, performed, and started to make my way into showbiz. I performed at a dance showcase at Broadway Dance Center. And I started going there because my mom's friend from high school was in a Broadway show and she told me that I should go take professional lessons. And when I was in a showcase, I was able to perform not only the dance numbers, the tap, jazz, ballet, but Frank Hatchett let me sing and play the piano. And I, I was doing shows with Tariq Winston, Savion Glover, um, Tamara Moore, all, all people, Trey Parker, I grew up to do great things in the entertainment industry. Back then, we just were regular kids. I wasn't exactly a regular kid. To start with, I was the only girl on the boys' baseball team. Which caused a little ruckus in my little small town of Fairview. But um, I played second base, and then I even pitched a few games. I wanted to catch, and my father showed up as I was warming up the, picture, the pitcher, and uh, got me right out of the catcher's gear. He's like, all right, enough, enough. And I realized pretty early on that while I might enjoy playing with the boys, I was destined to be on a different team. My first girlfriend was in ninth grade, and she was my like little sweetheart. She broke up with the, uh, the captain of the football team, and we started making out. <laughs> Y'all better gather around. It's gonna get kind of hot here. To go. I do. She wants the world. That's me. I eventually found a way to put everything together. Some music, dancing, and more than just a little making out. This is my life now, crisscrossing the country, performing with me and the girls. I am Lori Michaels, the Dyke Diva, and you're coming along for the wild ride. I'm on the verge of breaking out, as long as I don't break down first. You see, I just crashed and burned with the one woman I've ever truly loved. My ex-girlfriend, who broke up with me, um, was my stylist, my hair and makeup, and helped keep me together from top to bottom, bottom to top, in and out, all around. But um, yeah, I I was really, really, really devastated. And it was right before the digital release of my CD, right before the in-store, right as I was in the midst of these big shows, like back-to-back -back Pride festivals. And on the outside, everyone was like, wow, you know, where he's sounding better than ever, looking better than ever. And Really, I, I couldn't even keep it together. I was an absolute train wreck. Absolute, absolute train wreck. Emotionally. And, and uh, I was emailing her, text messaging her, sending her cards, reading books, sending her the books, <laughs> showing up at the house. And she was like, uh, done. Done. So now, in the midst of the most important time in my career, I'm at a loss. I had to move here into my manager Todd's place. It's a complete disaster. My career is here, my merchandise, my instruments, Todd's weights, but at least it's got Todd. This is Todd. How you doing? My manager, my A&R rep, my best bud, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> We've been friends forever, so there's, uh, it's good to have her here because she helps me out, I help her out. We certainly don't clean, though. No. No. The cleaning lady's in Bosnia, by the way. Yeah. That was nice to find out yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time to clean. Today, I'm heading to the salon to get prepped for an appearance with the girls at Jersey City Pride. When my stylist girlfriend broke up with me, I had to find someone else to make me look good. That's where things got even more complicated. Well, let's see. We could start with the owner. That's a good place to start. Um, Karen Phylos, my stylist. She's married, and uh, she has three kids, three really, really cute kids. Husband's a nice guy, and uh, she's very talented, very, very talented at everything. Like, I, I met my match with someone who 
does more than one thing well. She's sexy. I can't think about that because she's married. Sexy, married. Married, sexy. <sighs> she put on this earth to torture me. God, save me. <laughs> Not too hard. I want to soften her up. Make, rough, her, make right? her look attractive to men here. and women. Not just women. Well, guys to think she's hot. Oh, it's a tough job, Karen. Someone's got to do it. Do you need to stand in here, or are you okay over there? Is that better for you, Lord? Yeah, thanks. It's nice, actually. See, I think I make Lori a little nervous. <laughs> People can't make her nervous, but I think I do. No? No, not at all. Nervous? Try horny. I always have said straight girls mean straight to bed, but I've never gotten the vibe from Karen that I had a chance. From the very first moment I met her, she didn't seem at all that impressed. Um, I thought she was a little full of herself. <laughs> Especially when she tells me she's the queen diva. I'm still trying to figure out what that no, means. I'm not the queen diva, I'm the dyke diva. Oh, the dyke diva. Whatever. I still don't know what that really means, though. So. You'll know tonight. What makes somebody the Dyke Diva, actually? It's, it, it, it's not made. It's just you're born with it. Really? She may not seem interested, but it's still a lot of fun to try. <laughs> Your lipstick looks nice. Did I tell you that already? Mm -hmm. You did. You told me about my lips already there. I want to make sure that you know that your lipstick looks nice. Close your eyes. Lori, stop staring at me and close your eyes. <laughs> I really seriously don't like to get my makeup done at all. <laughs> but this is not really that hard. After a couple hours of delicious torture, it's time to meet my girls and head to Jersey City to headline their Pride Festival. This is what I love, be it for pride festivals, charities, any reason at all to get up on the stage with the girls and turn a crowd on, it's heaven. We're gonna go on in uh, a little while and let's review the show. So since we do 7,200 different shows, <laughs> so let's, do you want to go over that? Yes, yes. Unconditionally, uh, pom-poms, I have the pom-poms. Yeah, Who's fun. bringing pom-poms out? Them? Uh, yeah, throw them. I'll bring them out. Bring them out? Okay, me and you. Definitely. You can bring them out. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. And then after after meet me at the party, give them the cross. Towards okay. the end of meeting at the party. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like not all at the same time. Right. Like, like work them off. Yeah. Okay. You know, so that yeah. way when you flirt with the crowd, just toss one and then cross the other. All over. I really need to go over space. From the beginning. This one. Yeah. From here. Yeah. There. From there. Wait. What song is this? Me. Uh. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So. Boom. Dun 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 five six seven eight single single double 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 five six. Five, six, seven, eight, hit one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. My heels falling in the hole, and two. Mm, 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 mm. Stop it. Stop your feet. Uh, uh. Grab your hands if you want some. Uh huh. Stop your feet if you like my feet. Uh huh. You don't have to touch me yet today. I can't resist. And then we land here. Six, seven, dig a dig a dig a bump, bump, bump. Dig a dig a dig a dig a bump, bump, bump. Six, five, six, seven, and bump. Cause the music takes you higher, and the music makes you wilder. We're all gonna kick some serious boot time. Yeah. 
Jersey girl myself, it's good to see some pride in the Garden State. But me and the girls have an even bigger gig to wrap up this season. Next week, we're heading to Women Fest. This is Key West, babies, home to Women Fest. This is one of my favorite events to do. For six days, thousands of beautiful ladies descend upon the town to party. And of course, we're there to rev them all up. Um, Key West is always an experience. Uh, this is our third year here, and every time we come here, it's, um, it's usually non-stop appearances and promotions and um, performances and networking, and it's a great event for all of that. But it's packed in, literally, to four days, and we try to fit in some fun, and um, we do fit in some fun, but there's really never any time left over for sleep. And um, most of the stuff that I have to do is pretty high stress. This year is a little special. Karen's coming with me and bringing her girls to help me and my girls get ready for a bunch of shows. We'd been given a house by historic hideaways, pool in the back, providing some R&R &R during a busy performance week. Actually, we probably won't rest, so it's less for R&R &R, and DNA. Don't rest so close to the tile. the bottom, what a surprise! One, two, you have earrings in! Oh, what, are you gonna rip her ear off? I don't know, I might turn some mic One, two, three! Someone's gotta go down! Someone's gotta go down! 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 Despite any fantasies I might have with Karen as a bottom, I gotta stay focused. We've got a full slate. But when you don't know it as well as you should. I brought two of my best dancers with me, Melody Pop and Crazy Daisy. They've got their own stories and both claim to be straight. I love women. They're sexy and no matter what. I, I can be anywhere, but here you see a lot of women that are sexy and that are proud to be who they are and kind of makes you feel kind of comfortable. Hmm, interesting answer. Daisy, on the other hand. Daisy, Daisy is the straightest, the straightest. Now we say the Dyke Diva. Daisy is the straightest woman in America. Here we go, here's the straight line. Here we go, folks. It's straight, it's straight, it's straight. There's no curving, there's no cur It's Daisy, Daisy straight. Very, very, very. I get yelled at all the time for being the straightest one, but I mean, I think it's because I have a boyfriend. I've had a boyfriend on and off for seven years, so. But I mean, I still go to these events and I have so much fun. And then anytime anyone asks me if I'm straight, I go, I don't know. It's, take a guess, because you know, I gotta keep them guessing. I can't let them know my disguise that I'm the only straight one in there. Our first order of business, 
heading a pool party to let the Women Fest ladies know that we're here in Key West and we'll be having fun with them all week. So here we go into an all girls event. So any boys watching, now's the time to cover your eyes. <laughs> or don't. Come with me. I don't know what's going on because we just got here, but um, we're a little late. It's my color, right? Pink is my color. We need pink breast pants. I think Melody's in there getting plowed right now. I <laughs> She's in the middle of the butch part of the bikini contest, which I'm still trying to understand the significant differences in lesbians, butch, babe. Can't we just all get along, ladies? Really, honestly, can we all just get along? The Melody straight thing, it's, it's, gotta, it's gotta end already because Melody's way, way, way too comfortable with all these butches. And uh, I think she has a crush on me. I do. One of these nights I'm gonna find out. They'll be all week to figure Melody out. For now, we've gotta get ready for our first big show at Club Zoo. You just, oh. everyone's so excited. They're just like all, all pumped and then it makes you wanna even more, just dance even more, bigger and better. You'll see. <laughs> You're gonna see tonight. Tonight. Wait, the zoo. I, I keep calling club zoo. The zoo instead of club zoo. So I just keep telling everyone, yeah, the zoo. And they're like, where? Where the animals are? I was like, no, no, the club zoo. Sorry. The jacuzzi. Be using this later, hopefully. Nice relaxing. I miss my bath with my ex every night, or at least we would try every night to take a bath together. And since I live in the frat house now and not the townhouse. Um, I don't have a bathtub, so I do take showers, just not baths, and I, I miss taking a nice bath, so I think later on I'm going to take a nice hot bath. Shit, Lori needs to know what she's I wearing on the bottom on tonight. She laid it out nothing. for you. She said nothing. You didn't pick her whole <laughs> outfit. She wants you to dress her. These shoes hurt a lot. They look sexy, <laughs> or so I'm told. <laughs> That's the point. Right? Yeah, and you see how what a tough time I have putting myself together like this, because it's just, there we go. I straps all over. Oh, sorry. Welcome to Lori Michaels, me and the girls, where even the manager gets her hair done. <laughs> She's pampered. 
deserves it. She deserves it. She works hard. She puts up with me, of course. I was going to say that, but I don't feel like I have room to say that. So. I have the hardest job of all. <laughs> we keep Lori Michaels in line. <laughs> Club Zoo's as wild as expected. Far more interesting than Sarah's lack of panties was the cute shirtless bartender at Zoo, who not only gave me a kiss, but also gave me her number. What are you guys doing later? Where are you going? What's going on? Uh, we're going to our house, actually. At your house? Yeah. 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 What time are you here at Zoo? I work till 4. I get off at 4, so... That direct line's my cell phone number. Definitely text come by and check it out. Yeah, yeah text them. Yeah, thanks for everything. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Later, I performed a quieter set for the Women Fest crowd. The bartender showed up with her girlfriend. Story of my life. I meet a lesbian I might like, and she's taken. And even if you never tell me that you love me, I'll know that in your heart you'll really want to. I will see it in your eyes. I will feel it when we touch. I know you're scared. Cause you're loving me so much So I won't ask you what to do I will just show you I want you All of you I want you All of you oh, oh, No, don't get that drink! Uh, my eye makeup's all running. I didn't hear 
I am melting, darling. Don't get me wrong, splashing around the pool with a bunch of straight girls is fun. But on the one night I have free in Key West, I think I'm gonna try something different. Aqua's got a party that's right up my alley. You are a glow stick that lets all the ladies know your status. Green means single, so I'm looking. Glow sticks. I'm trying to see if um these are gonna go on my this, this is gonna go on my wrist or on my neck. But I have to admit, I'm looking for a lot. I don't think uh I'm a person anymore who wants pieces. I think I just want everything for me to have that unconditional love and to be with someone and to um, and be able to say, uh, yeah, it's all it's all there. I hit Aqua with the best of hopes, but it's slim pickings. The girls, including Karen, came along, and I ended up dancing more with them than with any prospective mates. No, check that. I really ended up just dancing with Karen. So I put on my green necklace and I went green. And as you can see, I ripped it right off. Like I told you guys, slim pickings here at the Aqua Nightclub. It's getting harder and harder to find the one. And uh, I gotta be honest, once you dance with Karen and then you kinda go to dancing with a uh, girl with the beer bottle, kinda a little offbeat. Really nice, really sweet, but uh, nice and sweet, don't cut it. Dancing with Karen is, that's, that's the, I don't know the Mercedes cars, but that's the top of the line, baby. That's the top of the line right there. Top of the line married Mercedes. Family size Mercedes. What is it, like the station wagon? Soccer mom Mercedes? Ah, uh, <laughs> is there any cure for the straight girl disease? <laughs> oh, someone needs to throw me a fundraiser. Nights like this make me miss my ex more than usual. I kept thinking that she was like gonna show up with her new someone. Um, so every once in a while I like, look around and I'm thinking like, wow, imagine if she's here, but she would never. This isn't her scene, Key West. I miss same, I miss, uh, I miss feeling um, at home. And uh, I miss, uh, I miss like little things like taking a bath <laughs> with her and uh, it's hard. It's hard to be without the person that you're with for a long time. And, um, and it's hard to think about a green glow stick. Whoa, I'm listening to this music and watching all these sad bits. That's not what you came here for, is it? So let me introduce you to the least stormy part of my life. My other manager, Lauren Fernandez. I do all of the booking right now, bookings. Um, I'm doing all of the press right now as well, and staying on top of the uh, the record label and basically the person that you come to if you want to get to Lori Michaels about any sponsorship, bookings, whatever. It's very tough to keep Lori in line because I haven't been able to do it yet. <laughs> I met Lauren three years ago when she did some work with my graphic designer. We hit it off right away, and I asked her to come on board. In my life, I nine times out of 10 will go with something because of how I feel. And with Lauren, I always had um, a great feeling about her and I always will. I think she's someone that um, hasn't even scratched the surface of who she'll be. And uh, I adore her like a sister, like a, a really good friend, like um, someone who is very sacred in your life. She's just a really, really, really great person. And, and now that it's three years later, um, all of that's still true and completely genuine. And she is my best friend and like my big sister. She is the strongest and most vulnerable person that I've ever met in my entire life. And 
and I've seen her strength firsthand, and she amazes me. But I've seen her vulnerability firsthand, and, and it makes me fiercely protective over her. I trust her, and we just, we get each other, and when I'm, when I'm nice, she's mad. When I'm uh, mad, she's nice, and we have a system together where um, we make really important decisions based on rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> we do share one unfortunate trait, though. Um, what I do for Lori takes up 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I have, um, at this point, I don't have a personal life. Um, I don't. That sounds horrible. I don't like saying it. OK, OK, before we get all weepy again, we both know that this is the moment for my career. My CD's out. I'm booking more gigs than ever, and the two of us can realize some dreams together, if it all goes well. And I love it. I mean, it's, it's grown to the point where I do, like, everything, but I've finally found what I love to do. To be able to make a living, and not just a living, to make an incredible living at this, um, but to be successful and respected, and um, I'm sure that's everything that she wants. I've been called the driving force of this company. And I think it's only because I literally drive. <laughs> when we rent the cars, I drive. But I have to tell you, when all the dancers are in the back sleeping um, because they're exhausted, Lauren is right there next to me, wide awake. And even if I know exactly where I'm going, she's just there. Women Fest lands right in the middle of hurricane season. But this year, so far, we've gotten lucky. Tropical Storm Hannah had passed by before the big weekend. I knew she wouldn't mess with us. But then came Ike. Of course, I already hate him for what he did to Tina, but now he's going too far. Hurricane Ike is projected to be a Category 2 or 3 hurricane, and its current path indicates that it will hit Key West. The city is ordering the mandatory evacuation of tourists. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so we heard on the news tonight that there is a mandatory evacuation for all tourists. Everybody has to leave. They're getting kicked out of their hotels by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. They have to leave. I think they all want to come here. <laughs> I invited them all here. I think technically we are residents since we have a house. Um, so we can stay. That's a little technicality that <laughs> we hope we can work with. <laughs> I wasn't about to leave. Not with our last show scheduled at Aqua tomorrow night. Lauren didn't necessarily agree. I think that if all the tourists are leaving, the show's gonna go on to basically bartenders and a couple of locals. Yeah, but that's the whole beauty of what we do. <laughs> we do what we do. We got booked for a show. We're here in Key West. There's a hurricane. <laughs> We're yeah. staying. I think that the promoter um, wouldn't understand that we would need to evacuate since there's a hurricane coming. I think the promoter's gonna love the show. I think she do. will love the show, even if it's just her in the club, which it might be. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll rehearse. We didn't really agree at all about this whole evacuation thing. Didn't want to put the girls in a panic, and Lauren wanted to leave. Because Lauren takes the practical, let's be safe, management, this is what we should do because we should do it. And I take the, the show must go on, even if the club owner and just her girlfriend are there at the club. We were booked for a show and we're doing it, period. <laughs> Lori usually um, gets the last word. That's just kind of the rule with us. <laughs> 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 I fight until I get exhausted and then she wins. We're going home. The next day, chaos. Everyone getting ready for that bastard night. A bunch of our Women Fest lovelies headed out of town. Looking around Key West, I was wondering if Lauren was right. But when nighttime comes, me and the girls gotta answer the call. So tonight is the official Lori Michaels hurricane show. We don't know how many people are left in town. We really don't know if anybody's left in town. And Karen was right by my side. That's super comfy. You're good. Thanks. 
Well, you can see some of the places here in Key West are boarded up, but right across the street is Aqua. And uh, people are here waiting for me and the girls. The diehards who remain made for a great crowd. And as it turned out, the biggest problem with wetness we had was at our feet, not in the sky. Well, we got to the club and we didn't really see the stage and we had to run onto stage and we see a giant puddle. We have heels on and we know we're gonna wipe out. So we start dancing and you have to find the right moment. And the right moment is after we take all of our clothes off and my tank top's on the ground. So I motion over more. I walked up to her and she did a very sexy dance and slowly dropped down and whispered in my ear, this stage is fucking soaking wet and we need to wipe it off because we're slipping around up here. And I looked up at her and smiled and said, what do you want me to do about that? Get my shirt off the floor and let's clean it. So Lauren, as efficient and accommodating as she is, grabbed it and I turned around and I wiped it up and we were all good. Crisis averted, we danced into the night and headed home to the pool. Hurricane Ike never even hit Key West. With that bit of happy chance, you think I might be able to get lucky. Sadly, no. Okay, so let's recap a little. Yes, I have a crush on my straight stylist. And despite my best efforts, she really hasn't shown a whole lot of interest. Oh yeah, she likes me. Sure. As I got to know her and we did, developed a relationship, she was very down to earth. She's a wonderful person with a great heart. And um, I just love working for her. Working for her? Not exactly romantic. And she knows I think she's hot. I'm fine with it, yeah. I, I don't have any problems with it. Um, Lori and I have developed a great relationship. And um, she knows that I care for her too. And I admire what she does. I admire her hard work because I'm a hard worker. I admire um, her work ethic. She's all about business, getting the job done. She doesn't waste any time. And we're, we're really alike in a lot of ways. That's why we get along so well. We've got one pretty major difference in our lives. My life is a little hectic. I'm married with three children. I run a business. I have a salon now with um, about 25 employees. So it's hard. It's hard, but um, I love challenges. So I, I like to juggle a lot of different things at once. Clear enough, right? Now here's where a healthy person would step back, evaluate, and decide to hit on any one of the other girls. Or just take a bath and take care of myself. But I stuck by Karen. For some reason, I just can't stay away. Karen actually really, really resembles her ex-girlfriend. It's uncanny, actually. Well, everybody that meets that met Karen first time was like, oh, does Lori know that she looks exactly like her ex-girlfriend? And she was a hairstylist just like her ex-girlfriend, so. I don't think you have to be Freud to figure out what that was about. Okay, leave it to Lauren to peg me perfectly. Of course, Karen and I are not to be. So after a great weekend of parties, girls, hurricanes, and performances, I'm heading to bed, alone. Soon, it'll be on to the next gig, another crowd to turn on, and another wild night with me and the girls. The show goes on, and the tour goes on, and the show continues, and people come in and out of our lives. And unfortunately, I now know what it's like to just want to go home. What's next? Endless possibilities. The parte continues on the Me and the Girls tour, and we have a lot of great stuff happening, and I only hope that we could uh, move on and be happy and have a good time. Me and the girls.
Me. <laughs>